Hi everybody, this is Mark Siegel and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up an assignment and add an assignment to your gradebook. So um, obviously I'm going to open up PowerSchool uh, Pro and this is going to be the screen we're going to see at the beginning of the year because we have no assignments. So first of all you want to make sure that you are set up for the marking period 1 currently. So sometimes it defaults to Y1, make sure you're in the marking period that you're currently in. So we're going to go into marking period 1. I'm going to go up to this button up here and click create and I'm going to click assignment. Okay, so where you'll notice that it defaults to whatever class you were just looking at. So mine said 5A. Um, if I want this to go to more classes, the best part about power, the new PowerSchool is I can just click off which assign which classes they want to go to. So I'm going to click all my classes because the assignment I'm about to create is going to go everywhere. So um, give your assignment a name. So my first one is going to be So I'm going to do the new student questionnaire, which is my first day of school activities. Now I have to give it a category. Okay, well, this is going to go under my homework category because part of it has to be done at home. Score type, percentage, how many points? Well, it defaults automatically to 15, so I'm just going to make this worth 5 points. Do I want this to count in the final grade? Yes, I do. When is it due? Well, it's going to be due on Thursday, the first day of school. So if I don't want it on Thursday, well, I'm going to click the little calendar and I'm going to pick whatever school day I'm going to actually choose. Um, now, what's cool is another one. Now, previously, you picked the date and if you copied it, it copied the, the same date for everything. But this one, you can actually choose the date per class, which is so cool. So we're starting school on an A day. So obviously, A days will be the 8th, but B days will be the 9th. So I can change my classes. I can't scroll far enough. There we go. Um, so that my B days are the ninth, but my A days are the eighth. Again, at the bottom, I can add a description for the assignment. And again, if I don't want a due date, if I don't want a more than one due date, I just click single due date. So that might be easier, um, but this allows you to choose which ones, which day it, for each class. Um, now I'm going to go to my students. So sometimes you are going to modify assignments. This is a place that you can actually remove the assignment so that it doesn't apply to every student, which is very clever. Um, if you were doing a standards-based grading, you would have a standard in here. We're not doing that. And then at the end, again, this is the part that's important, is the publishing date. So this is going to publish the scores immediately, which is fine. I can choose when I want them to do this on a specific date, days before, on the due date, etc., etc. So I want to publish this assignment immediately so that my students, as soon as they open it up and they see September 8th, they know they have something due for me immediately. I'm going to make sure all my categories are selected. If they're not, don't worry. It will yell at you that you did it wrong. And you click Save. And it's generating the assignment. Boom. If I want to duplicate it, it's ready to go. But I don't. I want to get rid of this. And now I can see my front page has changed. And now my new student questionnaire assignment is listed here for me. I can actually also see that now I can search for assignments um, and change different things. So if I don't want to go through the stream, I can search through the assignments. Something else I want to point out now is when I click on grading and I go to my score sheet, my score sheet now has an assignment for me. So if I want to enter in something for one, um, I can now actually click for one. This is that um, score inspector here on the side. So I actually can type in the numbers if I want to, or I can just click uh, hit a button. Um, what's also cool is I'm just noticing now as, of course, as I'm playing it, as I'm making this tutorial, I'm playing with it with you. You can see that there is a fill button. Uh, there's individual scores. And there's also buttons for collected, exempt, cool, late, uh, if the student was absent. So there's little markings or it's missing. So all these things will apply uh, for that particular student. And obviously when I move down to the next person, it will, it will change and uh, open it up for a different person. So there's a lot of cool things that we can, we can do um, when we do this. Remember that no matter what, 
when you enter in grades, you click save if you don't want to save, as I don't want to here because I accidentally entered it as zero for poor Trevor. I'm going to click off the screen and I do not want this score sheet anymore. Uh, discard my changes. There we go. And I'm back. And so my new assignment, and I can still edit that assignment because it's well before the due date, and I can see that how many grades I've entered. So it gives you a lot more information in this new Power Teacher Pro. Um, that we've got to work with. So that's basically how you're going to make an assignment. Set them up early. Always remember, make sure it falls inside of the marking period. Keep it away from Saturdays and Sundays. That's always a, a, a pain when you have to go back and change it later. Uh, but test it out. When you first do it, uh, when you first put it your assignment, do it the way you always did it. Send your assignment for everybody and then play around with it so that you can say, oh, well, A days are going to get one day due date, B days are going to get another due date, and, and see how it works. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time.